Hello and welcome to the show. If you'll notice, I'm a lot less fumbly this week, which is a good thing. Uh, we got uh, Christian Ortiz on here this week. Christian, hey, how are you doing, man? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. It's great to have you here. Thank you. I appreciate and, uh, it. I've actually been wanting to talk to you for a long time. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's been a while to, since we've uh, actually seen each other, but also about some of the really cool stuff you've got going on. And we're going to cover some of that today. Cool. Um, this is the show. Um, hi, Rusty. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> now, um, if you want to go on YouTube and make uh, comments or, or questions, you can. Uh, it is live on YouTube, and we can you can get to us that way. But um, we're going to go into a little bit. Uh, give us a short little introduction, uh, Christian, about yourself and what you've got going on. Sure. Uh, my name is Christian Ortiz. Um, I've been in Columbus for about 20 years now. Uh, I started doing photography back in 2011. Uh, I called it modtography. Uh, for those who know me, I've I've started a band in 08, Modest Roots. Um, so everything was kind of tied in with the mod name. Uh, modtography kicked off, and it was really, really uh, successful kind of quickly. Um, so I, I decided to focus on doing a lot of um, different styles of photography, from like proms and weddings and family get-togethers and whatever, okay. all self-taught. All self. That's very cool. And yeah. And when you see the work, you'll be impressed. I appreciate um, it. And uh, your music, you're still doing that. I am. I am. Uh, currently, right now, I'm just focusing on the photography. I've got so many projects going on, so uh, hopefully, I can jump back onto it. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. You're a busy man. I am. <laughs> I'm nonstop. <laughs> yeah. And with the kids at home, and uh, yeah, it's just nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. So. The family and the and trying to do your art and work and all that. This it can be tough. Definitely. Um, we're going to check out this commercial here, and we'll be back, and we're going to talk about some modography. Hi, I'm Catherine Childry, owner and operator of Let's Vocalize Studio Voice, located in Columbus, Georgia. For over 35 years, I've worked with choirs, groups, ensembles, and private vocalists, helping them to perfect their vocal gifts. Contact us at www.lessvocalize.com or call us at 706-536-6123. I'd like to help you offer your best gift. Hello and welcome back to the show with special guest Christian Ortiz. So, uh, Christian, let's uh, talk a little bit, a little bit about modography and uh, it, how it got started and what you're doing with it. Yeah, so uh, I picked up a camera one day through a pawn shop. I w always wanted to get into photography, and uh, found out about DSLR cameras and how amazing they are. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I, I fiddled with Photoshop for years um, with all the social media that I do with my bands and pictures and I would Photoshop just like, you know, the silliest pictures of myself, <laughs> yeah. you know? And so when I, when I discovered these cameras, I was like, uh, Oh, this is the real deal. So picked one up, um, taught myself. I, I, I devoted an entire year on figuring out ways to edit and use Photoshop and right. angles and details about photography. And, uh, and, uh, it just started taking off. And of course I, I have, uh, I know so many people, so it was easy for me to reach out. Right, to a lot of right. people and say, hey, you know, I'll give you a $20 photo shoot and, nice. and we'll, we'll go from there. Right. And so they didn't care, you know, they were helping out. And so uh, I learned a lot that yeah. year. And so finally I decided um, I wasn't going to limit myself to, you know, just a certain type of photography. So I went everywhere. Right, right. Yeah. And it's opened a lot of doors and it's, it's done me well. So I can't complain. <laughs> That's cool. And, and sometimes it's tough because, you know, they say be good at one thing. But, uh, yeah. And sometimes, you know, going out to a bunch of different places, it, different ways of doing things, it can also be very helpful. Of course, you are doing the one thing, which is photography, but a lot of different subjects. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really cool that you cover a lot of ground like that. I appreciate and, it. And, uh, it's hard. Yeah. It really is hard. Um, and a lot of people do tell you, you know, Oh, well, you need to find a, a focus and stick with that. And to me, 
you know, the more doors you can open for yourself, the better. Right. So uh, I just push myself, you know, to do so many different things from band shoots to models and headshots and proms and uh, weddings, which has been my newest thing, right? And yeah. that's like the top step that you can do, and it's it's nerve wracking, yeah, oh, because yeah. it's big time. And so you mess one of those up, and it's oh, people take their wedding very very seriously. Yeah, <laughs> so that 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 was probably the biggest challenge that I had to face, but um, I enjoy it. I love it. I do it every day. Well, let's have a look at some of uh, his um, photography. Photography. Yeah. So here you can see uh, this is a senior portrait that I did. Uh, for a friend of mine's daughter and uh, I wanted to do with my photography I, I wanted to mix kind of like pop art with colors and just use uh, this imaginarium if you will type of uh, idea behind my photography so things are kind of uh, kind of fantasy-esque mm -hmm. mixed with reality and right. just you know but uh, it's a, it's something that not many people kind of touch on Right. So I wanted to give it a shot, and of course I'm I'm an artist, so I have to incorporate some art and be right exactly into my editing. So, you have the next one, Tim. Uh, this was just some random trees. I think this was in Georgia. I can't really remember, but I, I remember finding it and wanting to do something with it. And so, of course, using Photoshop, I just made it like gave it a wide lens effect. Right. And then just the editing, and so you can see with all the colors and. It just sticks to my style as, as much as it can, right. even whether it's people or nature. Next up, Tim. Uh, this was kind of similar. Uh, this is around the same area. Uh, this is actually when my band and I would practice. We had a, a field out there, and I just decided to go in and try it out. That's one of my personal favorites. I appreciate it. <laughs> Next up. Uh, this is a uh, bridge over Whitesville Road. Uh, looking out into the highway. Wow. Yeah, caught the moon in just the right time with the lighting and uh, the cars. And this was my, with my first camera that I got. It was with Sony. Um, and it just came out awesome. It didn't really take much editing. It didn't, you know, maybe just a bit of a color tweak and enhancement. But uh, that's one of my favorite shots for sure. It's my new favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Next yeah. time. No, I actually have a question on this. The high speed. How high speed is your camera? It's uh, it's really not that high speed. Uh, yeah, the Sony's for some reason they pick up light, uh, unbelievably, and especially with the Sony that I have, it works really well with light at nighttime. If you're able to keep it still, you're able to pick up any type of movement just like that. And what's cool about it is that I could just use the uh, edge of the bridge as my tripod. Oh, so I yeah. didn't, you know, so I didn't have to. Oh, that was it. Yeah, so I had to make with what I had. <laughs> that wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's my little man in Puerto Rico. And Very cool. Yeah, that's the, 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 the day he learned how to swim. Uh, we went to go visit my grandmother a few years back before uh, she passed. And so he was, uh, he was loving it. That was actually in a beach, and everybody thinks it's a swimming pool. But, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's just uh, enjoying life. Oh, that's actually the ocean? That's yeah. the ocean. Wow. Very yeah, cool. absolutely. Gorgeous, gorgeous ocean. Uh, this one is uh, its one of my favorites. It's a steampunk. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with steampunk. Um, steampunk is cool. Yeah, just a, and it picked up a few years back here. Uh, and Columbus got really popular. This is a guy, actually, a really popular tattoo artist, a good friend of mine, Toto who um, he taught Cora uh, locally, who owns Black Lotus. Uh, she mentored oh, okay. under him. Oh, Cora, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he's, we had an event at Black Lotus, and he came up dressed up. And so I took the picture, and this was actually years later that I put him onto the backdrop and mm -hmm. used them for uh, blending art and photography, which is all what modography is all about. Right. And right. so this was kind of like my first attempt at doing that. And so uh, everybody loved it. And so I, I kind of added it to my fine art selection. And uh, I'm going to be doing so much more. Right. With that. Very Fantasy cool. and, and reality blending in. Yeah. So it's such a so many people are into that. Oh, yeah. And, it's um, so cool. I appreciate it. I love steampunk myself. That's right. And so this was uh, Chaos on the Rocks years ago. Uh, and they had um, a couple of rock bands playing. That's the bass player for uh, this was when they were playing 
let the bodies hit the floor. This was actually, uh, what is it, drowning pool? If it's not, forgive me. I don't know. Um, but this is actually one of my favorite, favorite pictures that I got. The angle, uh, just a extreme overexposure with the contrast right, and the colors. Right, yeah. Like, that's not really how I, I typically edit, but it just came out perfect for this right. shoot. And this was actually... Uh, I was just learning how to do photography oh. during this time. And so when they were playing, I got the gig to go take pictures of them. And I freaked out because I was like, yeah, it was them and Super Bob and a couple of other uh, really, you know, out of town bands that are pretty popular now. Yeah. And uh, I got to meet them and take their pictures. And this one just always stood out. So it's one of my favorites from that show. And that's a million Instagram likes right there. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. And so this was my... Um, this was my latest wedding that I did with uh, Tyler Free. That's a good buddy of mine oh, very cool. and his beautiful wife. Um, sweet, sweet couple. Uh, and this was actually a very successful wedding as far as uh, all the pictures coming out exactly the way I wanted. Oh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> so uh, I came in pretty confident with it. But, um, you know, it's all about the location and people don't realize yeah. that, you know, and the lighting that comes into play. You know, a lot of people get married in dark events and then they expect the photographer to have, right. you know, um, all the proper lighting and whatnot. So uh, it came out wonderful. So I'm very, very happy with that whole shoot. And lighting is everything with photography because what yes, is yes. photography but light on film? <laughs> exactly. Well, uh, uh, give uh, before we go to a commercial real quick, give uh, the people uh, where they can find you. Um, yeah, your modography. Absolutely. The best way to find me is um, through Facebook. Probably would be modography. M O D tography. Uh, it takes you straight to my link. Um, it links you to all my projects and to all my websites. So uh, it's a, even Instagram, Modtography by Christian Ortiz. Very, very cool. Yeah, I okay. appreciate it. Let's go to a commercial, and we'll be right back to talk about some other stuff. Hi. I'm Katherine Childry, owner and operator of Let's Vocalize Studio of Voice, located in Columbus, Georgia. For over 35 years, I've worked with choirs, groups, ensembles, and private vocalists, helping them to perfect their vocal gifts. Contact us at www.lessvocalize.com or call us at 706-536-6123. I'd like to help you offer your best gift. Hello and wel welcome back to the show with Christian Ortiz. This time we're going to do talking a little. We're going to talk a little bit about um, his next uh, his other. Uh, hold on, Tim, signaling me over there. What you got? What you got, Tim? We're rolling. Stretch it out, Brian. Stretch it out. <laughs> okay. I'm next trying to time. give him signals here, guys, but he's not. <laughs> Stretch it out. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> oh. Okay. Next week I will have remembered that. Now. Um, we're going to be talking about some of the other uh, things that you've got going on. Uh, our city of fountains, I believe. Yeah, it's a huge project. It's uh, our city of fountains is a, is kind of a very, very, very special thing to me. It's uh, it's all part of my photography. Um, a couple of years back, I was wondering, you know, how do I get my photography out? You know, how do I get people to my photography? Mm -hmm. And I decided I just need to bring it to them, you right. know, and, uh, Maybe a year or two ago, there was a photojournalism project called um, Humans of New York on Facebook. I remember that. And it's a guy who's, uh, he uses New York as uh, his subject matter. So every person in New York gets a little tidbit on his page, nice. tells a little story about their life. Um, so it inspired my page. I always wanted to do photojournalistic work for some reason. Um, and so I did. And I kicked off our city of fountains. But instead of doing it like Humans of New York, where I just pick one person and tell a little tidbit about them, um, I give them a week-long oh, uh, tribute, you know, just because everybody has a voice, everybody has a story, right. but they don't have an outlet to tell it. Right. And right. so this gives um, this gives everybody an opportunity to just be on the page and just tell people what they do, what they've gone through. It really reaches into the humanity of people. That's and that's cool. what it is. And then what, what eventually, our City of Fountains, I started in October. 
Um, so it's really fresh, um, but it's it's exploded. It's gotten a little crazy, uh, <laughs> but I love it. Um, and so the, what I decided to do is, uh, you know, Columbus is growing so much. It is. So rapidly, yes. And so um, I'm kind of honored that I'm kind of, I'm just there, you know, kind of uh, telling the story through pictures of, yeah. of the growth of the city. So uh, what a lot of people don't know is um, hopefully within, uh, by the end of the year, I would we'll probably uh, make a book Very for cool. Columbus. Nice. And that way everybody's included and it tells their story and they'll just keep on doing it every year awesome. and just put out volumes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> or something, you it's know, totally but, open-ended. yeah. And so, I mean, and even if I don't go that route, it's still forever on the internet. And so everybody can refer back and say, yeah, it was on that thing, you know, but everybody uh, feels really good about it. And so when I, when I do their sec, uh, their segment, you know, they just, they see the reaction and the response online right, and right. everybody's commenting and everybody's sharing it and everybody, it's just becomes this movement mm -hmm. of people. And so, uh, and of course, unlike Humans of New York and every other photojournalistic project out there, I get to still edit my pictures in my artsy way, right, which right. nobody does. And so it kind of separates me from the rest of, you know, whatever's Man. out there. That's what I. That's what I've always been impressed with everything I've seen from you, because uh, sometime back I came up with a slogan which I've barely used, but it's called "Do Cool," because yeah. you can do stuff, but you know, do cool stuff, and you've always done cool stuff. I appreciate that. Let's have a look at some of the uh, our city of fountains pictures. Yeah. So this was actually taken uh, from one of my last shoots. Uh, I did Zach Young. He's a excellent, excellent musician, and uh, you know, he's a a very excellent person. Um, so we went on top of uh, the Marriott, which is one of the tallest uh, oh. rooftops in the city. And it was nighttime. And that picture was just golden. Uh, <laughs> I love it. So it's kind of like a calendar cover almost. But uh, I've always wondered how you guys got those high up pictures. Like <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it just worked out so well. It did. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Abby, a good friend of mine. And uh, this is the cool thing about this project, too, is when I do these, I make friends. Right, and, right. and if I do my friends, then I get to know things about my friends that I never knew before. Right. So instead of just having acquaintances, I'm actually getting to know these right. people and making friends, uh, truly, truly making friends out of my friends, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is Abby. She works at um, Barnes & Noble. She's a uh, manager, really, really great person, uh, telling me her story at uh, Iron Bank Coffee. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And this is my longtime friend, Amber. Love her to death. Uh, she's a school counselor at Double Churches. And uh, so I had to just dabble into her brain and right. see what goes on. And, you know, most of the time I do these stories and, and I don't realize what I'm about to pull out of them, you mm -hmm. know, like the emotion and stuff. And this one really, really it pretty much had me in tears for a lot because she was talking about some uh, really deep stuff, you know, nothing specific, but just. Counseling. thematic elements yeah counseling yeah. and children and you know as a dad of course that hits home for me oh, right. so yeah. yeah and uh, that's my buddy Dwayne who's a phenomenal guitarist uh, producer singer he is uh I'm a huge fan of this guy he's like family to me him and his wife and kids a uh, really good guy telling me his story uh, but again instead of focusing on like what he does it's it's why you do it right, you know? right. and so Again, I've known him for years, but getting to know him uh, even deeper is a great thing. So uh, this is Kayla Lippert. I know her. Yeah, super cool Kayla. She's uh, She does a lot of blogging and works uh, in editing and, you know, with the paper. Cool. And she had a really great story, too. Very motivational. Um, very good person. Another story that was really powerful uh, for me. Yeah. Uh, and this lovely lady, she that was her in her, um, I believe it was her stepdad's vape shop. Oh. She did that portrait right there, and she's an artist and a writer, and she focused on her uh, poetry. Very excellent poet. Very cool. um, so it was cool to bring her out of the light. You know, she's kind of introverted, but then finally got a chance to get out there and put her work out there. The introverts sometimes have the coolest minds. That's it. Yeah, you're right. That's my buddy Lance. He's uh, he's another longtime friend. Uh, we discussed so many things. He actually started a bunch of music movements for the the heavier music, like the the metal scene and 
right. and the punk scene in Columbus that uh, just exploded in the early 2000s. He he really played a huge part in it with a couple of other people, of course. But I mean, right. uh, I've known him for years too. But again, I've known him since high school, and after our interview, just got to know so much more about him right. that I yeah. never knew. Mm-hmm. You know, just uh, it's really awesome. And there's Lindsay. That's one of my besties. She's uh, I've known her forever, and she's so talented. She does uh, makeup and hair, Southern glam, and she does. Uh, we just did a wedding expo. Very cool. She cuts my hair. I have to put in a plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to go see her. She's really, really awesome. Uh, she cut my son's hair too during this day and made him look all handsome and stuff. His hair is like mine. It gets all crazy. Need to get um, that dress after the show, <laughs> right? And uh, this was a tribute show, uh, The Loft, you know, one of our famous studios here, uh, slash bar, slash, you know, live stage. Um, And there's Zach Young doing his show. Uh, This was actually a Radiohead tribute show. Uh, Steve Thompson on the drums there, Caleb Gamble on the guitar. I can't see who else is behind him, but uh, phenomenal, phenomenal show. Um, Everybody who was in it, um, they knocked it out. And so, again, I, I went out there, took the picture, and just did my editing on there, and it just came out phenom. I, I was like one of my proudest pictures here. Just really cool. It's a great, great picture. All those are really good pictures. And as you Thank can you. see, uh, very talented photographer you should hire. I'll tell you what, <laughs> let's check out uh, one more commercial, and we'll come back out with a little more information and an outro. beauty at the gypsy cherub 3760 woodruff road columbus georgia class is back in style hello and welcome back to the show special guest christian ortiz christian we're gonna have to wrap it up here but i wanted to uh uh say the last couple of words and uh uh, get, let's get everything in one box and uh, to where everybody can know exactly where to get all of your stuff, Absolutely. Uh, where they can get your music and all of your photography and all the things that you do. Definitely. So if you want to go check out my music, you can do two things. You can go to Facebook and uh, just Facebook me at Modest Roots, uh, two separate words, and that's my band. Uh, we also have a, a band, Sons of Pharaoh, that's in the works. But um, you can also go to Reverb Nation. That's still uh, alive and kicking. Or you can go on Twitter. I, I'm... I try to be everywhere social media. So you type in Modest Roots, Christian Ortiz, and you'll find me there. Um, and with the photography, uh, Facebook is probably the best one too. Uh, you can check out my actual photography at Modtography um, on Facebook. Or you can actually go to Our City of Fountains Facebook as well, which is a completely different entity, obviously, for that project. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you coming on, uh, Christian. And, uh, <laughs> And again, I'm very impressed with everything that you're doing Thank and you have so been much. for a long time. I appreciate it. Likewise. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of the show. Christian Ortiz, I'm your host, Brian Mallard. Tim at the console. We'll be back next week. See you then. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>